James Lynch here for MMA Surge. Happy to be joined by Christos Yagos, who's going to be back in action at UFC Fight Night on September 18th. Christos, how's it going, man? It's going good. Good, Just getting settled settled into this new home, Uh, miles and miles away from my original home. But uh, uh, it's going good. Everything's going really, really well, and I'm adapting well. Yeah, and, and it seemed like, uh, obviously, a uh, good move. Uh, you mentioned the house and all that. Of course, for those who don't know, move from California to Florida. Um, so you just got all settled in now. Everything's good to go. Your furniture's there, everything else? Yeah, yeah. Our furniture just came on s- last week. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're still, I think we pretty much got about one box left. So we're pretty much all in. And uh, I started training at Sanford MMA, which I is about that. 20 minutes away. So uh I'm just uh, adapting to the new the new training partners right now. Yeah, a lot to sort of unpack there. First, uh, this fight against Saryukin. Uh, when did you find out? Because I know we found out last week. How much notice did you get? Uh, I knew for about three weeks par- prior. Um, so I started getting in shape. I wasn't sure about taking it because of the move and you know adapting and all that. And it, like, I got I got the notice right right as I was moving. So and then I was like, you know what, whatever, like. This is a guy in the top 15. This is what I want. This is my shot. And I don't like passing up opportunities. You know, I always, you know, I, I like to fight. And I'm not about, like, you know, trying to pick my fights. I always fight wherever, whenever, however. That's just who I am. And so uh, I was like, let's go. Let's do it. I'll have enough time. I'll get ready as much yeah. as I can. Well, and props to you as well, because I know there's a lot of fighters who did not want to fight him. Uh, his manager, I know, was posting on Twitter. You know, guys are turning him down. So I know you won a lot of fans over by taking this fight, but that's par for the course in your career. You're Mr. Short Notice or whatever. Not that this is too short notice, but still, uh, you must feel pretty good that, like I said, you're getting a top guy and, uh, you know, someone that'll push you up the rankings, right? Exactly, exactly. And I heard, actually, a lot of guys turn him down. And I was just, I'm not going to be that guy. No. I'm not going to be another guy that turns him down because... Listen, a fight's a fight, and um, you know I know he's really good. I know you guys are turning him down, but um, I'm going to go in there and have some fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you talked about it there off the top, training at Sanford. If I remember correctly in our last interview, you mentioned that you were going to still try and do your camps in California, but obviously now with the short notice of this fight, it makes more sense to train in Florida. I guess my first question is, Sanford's 20 minutes away. Who did you know over there to say, hey, I want to start training here? How did, how did that come together? Uh, I just hit up my management, Jason. Um, he uh, hit up Henry Hoof and let him know that I was moving out here. And um, I knew a couple, like two guys used to train at Black House is over there. So I introduced myself. I met the coaches and pretty much told them I moved here and I want this to be my, my gym. And, uh, you know, Henry's about, you know, they have everything you need. They have the jujitsu, they have the striking, they have the wrestling, and they have the strength conditioning. They, they, they give you everything. So it's a good place to be. And, um, I'm really stoked to just be at like one spot, you know, because I I was all over the place before. You're, yeah, so, you're customizing. It's a lot of driving and stuff, and yeah, yeah so it, yeah, it, it yeah. can add so up. It, it feels good. It actually, it's a lot better. It's a lot better on me mentally. Um, I'm not training clients at the moment, so I get to focus fully on the fight, 100. percent So I got better training. I got good training partners. You know, high level guys. I got one place to go to, and um, I get to relax a lot more. So I feel like you know, like. You're going to see one of the best Christoses out there, for sure. Good. I'm looking forward to it. Who did you know from Black Host? You mentioned two former members over there. Um, Who's training over there? Greg, Gregory. He's in the UFC Oh, Rodriguez. Well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Dwayne Johnson. Oh, okay. Um, not, not The yeah, Rock. Yeah. The other Dwayne Johnson, right? No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dwayne, uh, he's cool. Uh, I used to train with him back at Black House. And then um, I, I fought Gilbert and then Sean, so they're there. So And a lot, a lot, a lot of guys kind of knew who I was already because I fought Sean, so I'm like the guy that just fought Sean. <laughs> You there know? you go. Okay. But um, but it's cool. He's a super cool guy. Um, like I, I spar with him once. He's very talented. Um, so I like I have nothing but respect for him. And he, he, like I said, he's super cool. Super cool. Good to hear. Um, how do you feel like you match up against Sir Yukin in this fight? Tough guy. Went the distance with Islam Mahashev, so you know he's gonna bring it. Yeah, you know I know he has good grappling, decent striking. He, you know he's he's a good, well-rounded guy. You know he's in the top fifteen for a reason. And um. I think I match up well, you know, like he's going to probably go for takedowns. I'm just never going to stop fighting, you know. Uh, if he takes me down, get back to my feet. Uh, you know, when we're on the feet, make sure I can, you know, try to make him pay for it and um, try to get – try just try to break him, you know. He's hard to break and uh, just stay in his face the whole time, you know. Wherever the fight goes, I'm just going to be right there in his face and I'm just not going to stop and I'm training hard for it and, I, you know, it's a, it's a fight and this is my opportunity and – I like to take these things. 
I was looking on Instagram. It looked like you were training with Jared Gordon. Who else are you getting to work with as far as bodies in the gym? Uh, Saul Ro- uh, Rogers. Uh, he made it to yeah, the finale. Bellator used to Pfizer. be in Bellator, yeah. Um, Adam, I forget his last name. He, uh, he got some sparring rounds. He's fighting this weekend for Bellator. So I was getting some rounds with him. Um, this guy, Mitch, he's like a collegiate wrestler. He's really good wrestling. Um, uh, getting some training with him. And then um, and then just, just, just some, I don't really, uh, it's hard to remember everybody's names. Of course, so yeah. First new. yeah, first little bit there, you, get, you need to but wear I'm, the name tags, right? It'd be easier. So I'm definitely getting it from some guys, high talent, fighting for Bellator. Um, so it's, um, Bellator UFC. I'm just, oh yeah. I forgot forgot his name too. Another guy. I'm getting, I'm getting good looks. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, you you can't not at that camp. My main training partners right now I'm working a lot with is, um, Saul Rogers and Jared Gordon. Nice. Well, that's good. Um, how's the fight playing out on the 18th? How do you envision the fight playing out? I envision it a scrap, you know, you know, back and forth. And then, you know, him trying to take me down, me hoping I can defend it. We'll see. And um, if I defend it, make him pay. If I, he takes me down, I get up. I just feel like it's just going to be a lot of uh, who can beat who to the punch, you know? Who can who can react faster? Who can, you know, have a better gas tank? It's, it's just going to be a, one of those fights that's just going to go. And whoever has a slight edge in the rounds are going to take it. Okay, there we go. Uh, we got a big card this weekend. Um, UFC Vegas 34. Wanted to get your thoughts on some of the fights on there. We've got uh, Brian Kelleher taking on Domingo Pilarde on FanDuel right now. Brian Kelleher, the favorite at minus 170. Domingo Pilarde plus 138. Who are you leaning in that one? Who do you think gets it done? I think uh, Kelleher for sure. Yeah, I, I think the experience uh, will be interesting yeah. there. Although first fight for Kelleher at 135 in a while because his last couple have been at uh, 45 because of the yeah, pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, co-main event, we've got Alexander Pant. Actually, it's not the co-main event. It should be, but I don't know why it isn't. It's uh, Alexander Pantoja taking on Brandon Royville. Pantoja, minus 172, Royville, plus 140. Who are you liking there? Pantoja, he's uh, fancy. I like him. I like his style. Yeah, it has two wins over the current champ as well at flyweight, which yeah. is interesting. Okay, main event, Jared Cannonier, Calvin Gaslam. Jared Cannonier, minus 172 favorite. Calvin Gaslam, plus 140. Who are you leaning in there? I'm going with Kelvin, man. Kelvin Gaslam, he's an entertainer, and I feel like he's always the odd guy out, and he always comes up with a big win. So, And I feel like he's done one of the best with uh, Israel Anasanya. So I he has, yeah. think that uh, – Gaston will take it. So we talked about it off the top there. I know a bit of a short notice fight for you. Are you going to see how this fight goes and maybe just get settled in Florida for a bit? Or do you want to get one more in this year? What would you sort of looking at for the rest of the year? I don't know. I, 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 like, I like to take things one fight at a time because I like to base them off how the fight goes, how I'm feeling. Um, I am getting married right after October Ooh, 2nd. Big, awesome. big wedding. So might take some time off. I might be able to sneak one in January, but might just take the rest of the year off. We'll see. That's interesting. So, are you guys getting married in Florida or back in California? Back at home. No, no. I was we're gonna already say mar- we're already married, but we're doing. We didn't get to do the big one because of COVID. Oh, so gotcha. Okay. We postponed the big one, so we we kept our original date, and then um, now we just got to do it. So there's got to be no family. nerves now because you already signed the paper, so you're good. So now it's like you know it's a different experience, I think, for 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 the guy, anyways. I would think. I know yeah, for the woman, it's more me, about. But she wants to walk down the aisle in front of. Of all course, who doesn't? Yeah, yeah. No, that's <laughs> great. That's great. Any uh, any fighters in your wedding party or any, any ones that are that are going to be there? Uh, yeah. Um, all like 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 the guys back at home, like Terion Flashware, Vince Cachero, Dima Marcus, nice. um, and my coach Jiva, Chad George. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta look at the list though. But yeah, that's it's good. Like you know, because if anyone gets out of hand, anyone gets too drunk, you got some fighters to back oh, you up. Oh yeah, if, if yeah, anything yeah, needs yeah. To, we'll be need to crack some we'll heads. So there you go, <laughs> uh, Christos. Thanks so much for this, man. I uh, really no appreciate worries. it. Anyone you want to thank? Any sponsors? Any social media? I'll give you the last word. Uh, not right now. Everything's all mixed up with the move and everything. So uh, just follow me on uh, C G I A G O S underscore UFC is like C my last name underscore UFC and just on Instagram because that's pretty much what I use it.